Begin with the three news investigates follow up tonight. News of a settlement between Cedar Point and a woman who was critically injured when a piece of metal flew off a ride and hit her in the head. You might remember the accident happened nearly three years ago now involving the top thrill dragster ride, which has since been revamped and its replacement is about to debut in just over two weeks. Three News investigator Lena Lai joins us now in the newsroom. And Lena, you've been following the case since the very beginning. Yes, Laura. Well, settlement details remain confidential, but it really does bring an end to the lawsuit that a Michigan woman brought against Cedar Point. Rachel Hawes of Shorts Creek sued for $10 million in medical costs and much, much more after suffering a traumatic brain injury while waiting in line for the top thrill dragster. On August 15th, 2021, it was a harrowing scene. State investigators say a metal plate used to trigger the sensors on the tracks flew off the back of the coaster car. Inspectors found half of the plate's bolts were missing and that the ride was traveling at 120 miles an hour when that metal bracket flew off and hit Hawes in the head on the ground below. The lawsuit filed last year also sought punitive damages. That means to punish Cedar Point for what the lawsuit said was a life life changing injury because of Cedar Point's failure to properly inspect the ride to notice the loose bolts and for destroying evidence her, for her legal team to review. Today, Hawes and Cedar Point issued a joint statement about the settlement that says in part. Rachel truly appreciates all the public support and prayers in Cedar Fair's cooperation and open communication with her family and their counsel. While terms of the settlement are confidential, the parties were able to come to a fair and equitable agreement that satisf satisfies both parties, rather. The Ohio Department of Agriculture, mind you, which regulates amusement park rides, did conduct a months long investigation and found that Cedar Point did not violate violate any laws or rules in his operations or maintenance of the coaster. Coming up at five, we'll have more on the replacement ride, now known as Top Thrill 2, set to debut when the park opens on May 4th. Laura. Yeah, and a lot of people are talking about that ride. Mm -hmm. All right, Lena Lai, live for us in the WKYC newsroom. Lena, thanks. Thanks, Laura.